Hello friends, in this video lecture, we will discuss about a very few early part of elementary canal. In previous video lecture, we discussed about the details of human digestive system. In that one, we discussed there are two parts, elementary canal that also known as gastrointestinal tract or gut and second one is digestive gland. Under elementary canal, we discuss a number of parts like mouth, pharynx, esophagus, stomach and intestine. So here we have to discuss first about mouth that is a part of alimentary canal. So in case of mouth there are two parts vestibule and buccal cavity. So what is vestibule? Vestibule is the space that exists in between teeth and lips or here teeth are connected with gums so we can say gums and lips as well as teeth and cheeks or gums and cheeks. So this space is vestibule. Now the next one is buccal cavity. So buccal cavity is the inner portion of mouth that is surrounded by teeth. So further buccal cavity that also known as oral cavity is divided into three parts. First palate, second one is tongue and third one is teeth. Now first about palate. So what is palate? This is simply known as roof of the oral cavity. Here this may further divided into two parts anterior as well as posterior. Anterior portion is very hard so known as hard palate while the posterior portion is soft that's why soft palate and the posterior terminal end of soft palate is a hanging structure that is known as uvula or velum. So here you can see this is about the mouth. These are lips, a pair of lips. This is inner portion. So here this region that is very hard and rough. This is anterior part of palate. This upper one that we discuss roof of oral cavity. This anterior part is hard and rough and this is for making a strong grip over the food material what we consume. Now its posterior portion here this one is comparatively soft and the very posterior part this one is a hanging structure that is known as uvula or velum. This uvula or velum carrying a great role in closure of this nasal chamber. So here at this region just above the lips there is a pair of nostrils and these nostrils connected through nasal passes. This is nasal passes and this space is nasal chamber. So this uvula or velum causes covering of this nasal chamber. When food passes here through this oral or buccal cavity then because of the pressure of food this hanging structure return back and causes closure of this nasal chamber. So this stops the possibility of reversal of food outside the oral cavity through nasal chamber or nostrils. There is one more structure which is here named as epiglottis. This is a elastic cartilaginous structure which covers the opening of windpipe that also known as trachea. So opening of trachea is known as glottis and this is located over that. So known as epiglottis. So epiglottis is for prevention of entry of water or food in windpipe. So here at this region there are two ducts. The anterior one that is very close to neck is windpipe or trachea while the posterior one that will be here backside to this one is known as food pipe or esophagus to make sure entry of water as well as food material in food pipe. These are the two structures. As we discussed earlier uvula or velum this causes closure of this nasal chamber. So food cannot enter through this one while this epiglottis causes closure of windpipe or trachea. So food or water cannot enter through windpipe. Now the second part of this buccal cavity is tongue. 
सो टंग दिस ऑल्सो नोन एज लिंग्वा टंग और लिंग्वा इज अ फ्लैट मस्कुलर स्ट्रक्चर दैट इज अटैच विद द फ्लोर ऑफ माउथ बाय अ स्ट्रक्चर दैट इज नोन एज फ्रेनुलम सो इन द डायग्राम यू कैन सी इजली अबाउट द फ्रेनुलम दैट इज लोकेटेड जस्ट बिलो द टंग नाउ एट द अपर सर्फेस ऑफ टंग देयर इज अ नंबर ऑफ ह्यूज माइनर प्रोजेक्शंस एंड दीज प्रोजेक्शंस आर कॉल्ड Papillae. The papillae, which are present on the surface of tongue, are categorized into four. These four are given here: circumvallate or valet papillae, filiform papillae, fungiform papillae, and foliate papillae. Now, what are the characteristics of these papillae? So, first about circumvallate or valet papillae. These papillae are eight to twelve in number. Their shape is circular. they are the largest and they have nearly 100 test buds so each circumvallate papillae is carrying nearly 100 test buds what are test buds so these are the structure which are responsible for recognition or identification of a particular test that we can realize by our tongue so actually these are the test buds over the papillae that are responsible for any kind of test detection here in this diagram you can see this one these are the first one these are the circumvallate or valet papillae so they are towards posterior side of the tongue now second one is filiform papillae they are the most numerous they are the maximum in number and shape wise they are conical in nature they are the smallest in size and because of their smallest size there is absence of test buds over these so here they are present throughout the region here these very small dotted structures that are conical in shape they are filiform papillae the third one is fungiform so fungiform they are moderate in number means their number is less than filiform while more than circumvallate papillae their shapes are also unique they are mushroom shape in structure while their size is also moderate again they have larger size with respect to filiform while they are carrying a small size with respect to circumvallate or valet papillae their number of test buds is also moderate we discuss circumvallate or valet papillae carrying nearly 100 test buds on each papillae while there is absence of test buds on filiform papillae while here there is presence of nearly 5 test buds on each fungiform papillae the next one and the last this is foliate this foliate papillae is not developed in human beings so this is non functional for humans so in case of human beings how many types of papillae are there only three types circumvallate filiform and fungiform now this is about the structure of tongue and this is about upper surface so here 1 2 3 4 these are respectively about the representation of papillae this first one is about circular circumvallate papillae this second one is about the smallest which is filiform papillae the third one is about mushroom shaped that is fungiform papillae and fourth this is about foliate papillae which is present here so in case of human beings as we discuss they are not developed so their role in test detection is also nil there are presence of four different types of test buds on these papillae so how many papillae out of these four are carrying test buds only two circumvallate this one here we discuss each one is carrying nearly 100 test buds while the second one is fungiform these are they are carrying nearly 5 test buds on each so these test buds are for detection of a specific test so mainly there are four different kinds of test that are considered as bitter sour salt and sweet 
so sweetness is mainly identified or detected by this anterior part saltness is by these lateral parts sourness here by the middle or nearby portion nearby the lateral one while the bitterness is by basal or posterior part of the tongue now what is the function of tongue so as given here tongue this is helpful for food chewing by mixing with the saliva this one is helpful for chewing of food second this also causes cleaning of our teeth that's why considered as a natural brush this carries a number of test words so also considered as a organ of test this also helps in proper speech if tongue is not there then we cannot speak we can just only create sound but we cannot convert them into proper wordings and the last tongue is also helpful for swallowing or deglutition of food that is passes of food from oral or buccal cavity inside the esophagus or food pipe